Hi, welcome to Clash of the Core. My name is Stephen Dawes. I'm sorry this isn't a live stream. I was planning to do a live stream after the Newcastle game, but unfortunately, um, time has uh, got away with me, so I don't have the time to do a, a live stream today. But I will be doing it for the next match, of course, so don't forget to stick around for that. But I did want to talk about the Newcastle game because I think it was a very interesting, uh, very interesting match indeed. Of course, I knew that uh, coming up against Newcastle was going to be tough. They're a very hard side to beat. They've got one of the best defences in the league at the moment. So I knew it was going to be a hard-fought game. And I knew that they were going to demand a lot from our collective defensive techniques. So it was always going to be a bit difficult. The lineup was very similar to the one that went out against uh, Manchester United. But it was slightly different in a few key areas. For example, uh, we had Gaeta in goal, of course. We had Joe Ward coming for Nathaniel Klein. Chris Richards making his second day, uh, second uh, game in a row debut, which was fantastic. It's uh, good to see him in there. Gehi and then Mitchell. Then we had Dukure and Schlup um, up up in front of them. Um, I, I I'm a bit disappointed by that. I would love to see him seen Hughes start from the beginning again, but that's what it is. Then we've got Au, Ezi, and Zaha. So um, you've got Au in for for Elise. So uh, I th I thought that. Patrick Vera would probably do that because obviously he wanted, I think, a bit more of a defensive mind. And uh, and while Elise is a fantastic, uh, you know, fantastic player going forward, defensively he's not quite always, um, not quite always the, the the player that you need in that situation. So I, I did think that he would put AU in there. And then up front we had uh, Edward, which is in favour of Mateta, which I think is a good idea. I think that he, um, I think that he proved. In the game against Manchester United, that he can he can cause trouble. Anyway, so that was the that was the lineup, and as I expected, it was a game pretty much dominated by Newcastle. You know, they they held us back at times. They were they were working really hard to uh, stop us getting forward. And to be fair, we didn't really create a huge amount. We did create a couple of good chances, which um, which Pope managed to deal with, and uh, and I think that we. We were trying to get as best we could. I think we were trying to get them on the break, but it was very difficult because they were a very well organised team. And so as soon as they lost possession, they'd get back into their shape and it became very difficult for us to then create anything, which made it very frustrating for players like Zaha, of course, and Eze. I did see a bit of trickery from Eze, which was good to see. I hadn't seen it previously a couple of games, but there were a couple of times you tried to do a bit of trickery to get past people, which I thought was good. Um, I think we need to see more of that to try for him to try and get past people rather than just passing the ball in front of them. I think we need to see a bit more of Eze trying to get past people because I think he's good at that. And um, I think he has another dimension, another thing for the defence to think about if he's uh, if he's doing stuff like that. So I think that was a great thing to see. Um, I have to say that, um, you know, line up, I have to say that, in, you know, in terms of possession, we of course, we didn't have a lot of possession. I'm going to go into the stats here and show you. Um, possession wise, we had 39% to their 61, which I expected. Um, I expected that to be the case and there were large parts of the game we, we were under the cosh you know they were trying to pass it around and, and I thought actually defensively we did very well very pleased with Chris, Chris Richards again I think he had another fantastic game I thought he, he worked really hard and uh, you know Mitchell was working hard as well trying to stop players from getting past him and stuff like that there was a couple of times when I thought similar to the Man United match where they they tried to pass the ball between the the left back or the right back and the and the and the centre midfielder. So it would either be between uh, you know Mitchell and uh, and the and central midfielder or between Joel Ward and central midfielder and and a central defender I should say. And a couple of times they managed to get through and managed to get a player beyond it. So you know putting us on then having to have their defence turn around and chase them. That happened a couple of times in Man United as well. And so I think that Eddie Howe has obviously seen that and thought that's a way that they can get through our defence. And a couple of times they did manage to do it, which is a bit uh, a bit worrying. But second half, it wasn't quite so bad. So maybe Patrick Vieira had a word with the team about that sort of thing. But um, certainly it was a bit of a concern in the first half. Second half, I think it came out. I think we actually came out and played a little bit better. We had a bit more possession. We took the game a bit more to them in the second half. I think first half we were a little bit cagey and a little bit wary of uh, conceding a goal and I think that that perhaps lowered our confidence a little bit second half we seemed to do uh, to do more you know we were running at them and trying to trying to get the ball into their half of the field and uh, it was actually causing a few more problems for them you know it wasn't you know there wasn't really any what I would say clear cut chances but there were a couple of chances that we did take uh, did manage to uh, did manage to put into the box so you know we were having a bit more of a better time I would say and using the uh, using the wide men a little bit more, which was good to see. However, obviously, it was against Newcastle, so we weren't really creating a huge amount. And that's the that's the again the worry for me 
is the fact that you know when we're in that situation when we're up against a team like Newcastle it's going to be one maybe two chances you're going to get at most and you need to take them otherwise you're going to be risking uh, conceding your own at the back but thankfully we didn't and it managed to stay nil nil which was really really good I was really pleased with the with the performance in the end I thought that we worked really really well together um, apart from a couple of little things which I was a little bit um, a little bit concerned about I felt at times that we gave the ball away too cheaply um, which you know obviously then encouraged Newcastle to press us again but uh, in on the whole I think we actually worked really well as a team and as a unit you know getting back and stuff like that towards the second half of the second half um, obviously we started to tire a little bit we weren't chasing them down as much as we had done earlier in the game but uh, you know that's one of those things you know we are we are one of those teams that doesn't run around so much you know we don't do so much of that we're one of the lowest teams in the Premier League in terms of distance covered during a game so uh, it's, I think it's just the way that we play so yeah and we had uh, how do we have we had one shot on target to their seven uh, possession as I said 39% to their 61% Slightly less in terms of passes, passing accuracy sixty seven percent to their seventy nine percent. So a little bit, uh, a little bit low on there. So that was a bit of a shame. But um, we had a few yellow cards as well. Dakure got a yellow card, and um, it was it was difficult, I think, for for the players because they, you know you had a very physical team in Newcastle, and so there was always going to be things like that. Gehi, Dakure, and I think Ward also got not Ward Hughes and at least they also got a yellow card in that game. And Ward came on in the second half, and I think that. When the changes were made, I think we we seem to be a little bit better. You know, we seem to be working a little bit better together. Uh, whether that's because it was just fresh legs or not, I don't know. But I felt that when the changes were made, we seemed to look a little bit better. And in the last five minutes of the game, we were actually taking the game to them. So I felt that we actually had the better of the last five, ten minutes of the game, which was good to see. The big problem for me, and the big concern for me, is the situation with uh, Wilfred Zaha and towards the end of the game, I think it was on uh, 80, no, 70, 63 minutes, sorry. <laughs> My notes are behind me. 63 minutes, um, we had uh, Wilfred Zaha pulled up uh, with, a, with a problem with his hamstring. And although he did try to carry on, eventually he was substituted off, which is a bit of a concern. Patrick Vieira apparently said in the post-match interview that he thinks it's going to be Monday now before they actually find out how serious the injury is. Hopefully it isn't that serious and it's something he's going to be able to come back from fairly quickly. Zaha's pretty good at coming back from injuries fairly fast. He's quite a quick healer, I think. So fingers crossed that we'll be able to get him, uh, get him fit again. But I don't think it's going to be, I don't think he's going to be fit for the Manchester United game, which is a bit of a bit of a shame, but... It's one of those things that happens, unfortunately, and uh, you can see that he was quite upset about it and frustrated with it, with it as well. So as soon as uh, we get any updates on Zaha, I will, of course, let you know. So don't forget to subscribe and click that bell so that uh, you won't miss the video when I make it. And, uh, and that's pretty much it. I'd love to hear your thoughts on the game, what you thought, how we played and uh, what you thought about the substitutions and things like that. And of course, as always, uh, I welcome your comments on anything else to do with uh, Crystal Palace and stuff like that. So thank you very much for joining me and I will see you next time.